Hey, social medias and YouTube, this is Chain. Well, happy Mother's Day, because it is a Mother's Day, right? So today, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 moms of Rune Factory. From 1 through 10, 10 is going to be the the mid moms, where uh, they, they don't really interest me that much. They don't really do much in the mom category in Wound Factory and stuff such. So it'll just be from 10 to 5. But once we get to the top 5, that's where it's going to get spicy because those are the moms that are the best moms in Wound Factory. So yeah, keep in mind, I am not counting head cannon moms. What does that mean? It means no forte as mommy, or shell pie, or may, or any dink and its post-game marriage moms. Just moms that are, uh, how do you say, built in into the game itself. Like, they're already there, they're playing, so yeah. So yeah, let's get on this list at number 10. It'll have to be... Huh. Number 10. I would have to say... Leanne, or Lady Anne, from Rune Factory 1. Why? Because she's just there. She does take care of Tori and Xavier, even though Xavier is a delinquent and wants to get with Miss. My miss. But yeah, she's not a bad mom, perhaps. She does watch out for the kids sometimes, but that's just sometimes. Nothing else happens with Lady Anne, so that's why Lady Anne is uh, number 10. Sabrina from Moon Factory 1. Yes, another Moon Factory 1 mom. They're really pointless, they can't really do anything. But Sabrina takes the cake. What I mean is also a terrible mom because she is a drunker, a drunk mom in Moon Factory. She does take care of uh, Nicholas, so she did have a kid, but we don't know who the father is. But yeah, and sometimes Sabrina hangs out with Newman as another fatherly figure for Nicholas, which it's also bad because Newman is a drunk too, works at the bar. So yeah, that's why uh, Sabrina is number number nine. At number eight. It would definitely have to be Rita from Rune Factory Frontier. Just like Sabrina, uh, Rita is also a drunk mom, along with uh, taking care of the bottom half of their uh, establishment, which is also a bar. But, on the positive side, she does take care of Eunice a lot, and Eunice is a pretty outstanding Moon Factory girl to begin with, even has a character development where he could change how she looks, but that's just taking it too far, right? To be able to change someone's uh, life stance just from an event. But yeah, you know that Rita is also an abusive uh, mom to the husband, where they all get in a fight and they're all both drunk. But that's the fun of it. So yeah. Rita is at number 8. 
number seven of Root Factory Moms that I have to talk about is from Maroon Factory 2, and that is Natalie. Yeah, Natalie. Even though Natalie is a nurse, and she does help you if you get poisoned or whatever status element you have, she isn't really that of a good mom. What, what am I talking about? Is that she doesn't encourage, like, uh the hopes of, and dreams of her kids, aka Dorothy and Lisa. Even though Dorothy wants to be uh, a nurse like Natalie, but she also doesn't like what Alicia is, which is a fortune teller. And I don't really like that in someone that don't believe in their person's uh, goals and aspirations. Like, I'm the Lisa of this uh, family because no one wants me to be something else that I don't want, that I want to be, so, yeah. Alright, folks, number six is neither bad or good, because it is teeter- it is teetering on the middle half, so number six will have to be Tanya from Moon Factory 2. Why pick Tanya? Well, even though Tanya does help you on getting new skills and weapons and getting us some side hustle money for your character, Tanya doesn't really take care of Roy that much, and Roy is especially frightened of Tanya because because Tanya is a all adventurous person. And Roy just wants to be a happy-go-lucky little dude. And wishes that Tanya could just be a normal mom. And not a adventurous mom like Tanya would say that she is. So, yeah. Wait a minute. You know what? We would have to put two number six spots here because... They are both equally terrible rune factory moms. And I would have to put also in this area, it will have to be Beatrice de Saint Coquille Kiddo. <laughs> Why? Even though they are a rich Coquille family and rune factory. She's the reason why their family is in serious, serious money debt, and why Electra has to do some extra housework and taking over whatever Marilyn's job was supposed to be, which is the house cleaner elf. But yeah, just because of uh, Beatrice, she doesn't really help out. Electra that much, and even in some point in the game, makes Electra cry because she doesn't believe in uh, the ambitions of her kids. All right, folks, we're at the top five: the meat and potatoes of uh, Room Factory moms that I I really like. So yeah, there might be some extra numbers here, so. There's a lot of great Room Factory moms that I really want to talk about. So, yeah. So, at number five, I have to give number five to Gainsha. Why Gainsha is at number five? It's because 
She does hang out with, uh... Marco what? Marco is Gencha's, uh... Son. And also has a... Crush on Candy. And... Whenever you're at the bathhouse... And you overhear... Marco and Gencha's conversation... They... They... He makes, uh, Marco... Embarrassed. Because... She knows that Marco likes Candy a lot. And plus... She's one... Outstanding... Dwarf waifu... That works at the... Blacksmithery and Trampoly. And she's the only one that gives you the... Awesome swimsuits and the useful, uh, forge, forging item things. So yeah, that's why Gensha is at number five. Why I pick Shino as number four is because she does support the kids. She, she does support Sequoia and, uh, her friend Pia and her, uh, comedy routine. And their comedy routines are pretty funny. And that's why I like them the most. And the best thing about Shino is that in later games, in the original, she has a sword in the the back. Because she is actually a samurai. That's her secret. But since Rune Factory is a fantasy and kind of want to make it PG. It's a squirrel instead, but and also she likes mushrooms, which is also really a plus. <laughs> but yeah, I like how Shino is. She is caring for Sequoia in her uh, comedy endeavors. She doesn't really get mad and. She is fun to be around. So yeah, Shino is at number four. Oh boy, we're at the top three now, folks. This is where it gets really hard to pick which refractory moms they want to be on this list. But if you did see my previous long time shorts of worst to best refractory moms in Moon Factory. I would have to pick, uh, the newest moms, right? So, number three will have to be Misasagi. I, I do really love Misasagi's character design. It's not family friendly. It's really suggestive. And she is... Uh, a fox lady. People say it's a wolf, but it's a fox. Because her, uh, for her, uh, animal form is a nine-tailed fox, which is a, a mythical, uh, kitsune, a flaming fox. But yeah. I do love when a character shows a lot of bod body in a game, especially if it's a, <laughs> a grown person, animal, but oh wait, I forgot to tell you why I also picked Misasaki as number three, because uh, she does really care about uh, Hina a lot, but... But when she was, like, in monster form, she was like, Where is my daughter? And then you save, uh, Misasagi. And... Of course, Misasagi has a cool big brother named Murakumo. But I'm not counting Murakumo that much? I don't know. Is Murakumo the dad? Or the brother? 
I don't really know. You tell me, folks. And plus, I don't really know much a lot uh, Misasagi's backstory, because I haven't gone that far into the game to know a lot about her. But yeah, that's why. That's why I picked Misasaki and put her in number three. All right, folks. At number two, it'll have to be. No, no. I can't make this number two. So, if you know me, folks, I'm all about the great moms of Rune Factory. So, I would have to put two number twos here. Like I said in the, the start of the top five, there would have to be multiple moms out of the bunch in, but only a few could fit. So, there's two number two moms I want to put here. And that is both Simone from Moon Factory 5 and Lintha from Rune Factory 3. 4. 4? Yeah, Rune Factory 4. First off, let's talk about Simone. Even though I don't know much of her backstory, Simone is the mom to Priscilla and Lucy. Was it? And she is also a doctor with a rockin' bod and an eye patch. I'm a sucker for characters with eye patches. Especially. Yeah. But yeah. That's all I have to say. I don't know much about what Simone does and how much help she is to the family in Factory 5. But now, we're gonna get to the second Moon Factory mom for number two. And it would have to be... Oh wait, I already said it. It is Lintfa. Why I like Lintfa is that I also like her design. She is a very fun-loving mom to Zhao Pai. She also helps out Zhao Pai as advertising her uh, bathhouse with funny comedy stuff and also talking like Xiao Pai, even though Xiao Pai thinks it's a little annoying, but it actually helps. And, but Lutfa, she has that uh, boob, boobs showing, which I like the most in games because. I like the art, and I want to try to draw boobs like that forever because I'm also trying to be a great artist. So, yeah, that's how to say both these two moms is uh, have to be a number two because there only could be only one number one mom, but I have to pick a new factory, and that is. Is Hazel. A long time ago, I did make a top 10 moms from worst to best, and Hazel was number one. I said in that video that she does worry about Karina's work ethics and also supports Karina's uh, endeavor to leave uh, the town as Karina's uh, ambition is to start her own store but the mom is really strict and wants her to be hardworking even though Karina is just as lazy as ever and plus I do like the design of Hazel a lot with that uh, hat and her power 
stance that she does, and how she gets mad at Karina is hilarious. But yeah, that's why Hazel is number one. And there you go, folks. That is my top 10 worst to best moms of Boom Factory 2024. Who's your favorite top five moms of Root Factory? Uh, I'm not counting Headcanon, remember, because that's all, pe all people's uh, dreams and realities. I'm just counting the moms that's already programmed into the game itself. So yeah, that's it. And I hope everyone has a Fun and safe Mother's Day.